Okay, well we got the mouth pipe uh, removed uh, and uh, we managed to get the bottom bow cap off as well as its uh, guard wire. Uh, we put in a couple of the tuning slides to add support because we're going to be taking the instrument apart further, but we're not trying to rip it all into a big pile of little pieces. We're breaking it down into sub-assemblies, so the next step we're going to be doing is taking the bell off, but we don't want to remove all these braces because uh, by leaving them there it's going to simplify the assembly process. And when we go to put the bell on in the bottom bow, we shouldn't have to uh, do a lot of chasing around trying to get everything to fit just right. So by leaving those braces we can line things up with the witness marks that are on those uh, bows and along the side of the bell. Uh, it will make it a lot easier to reassemble the instrument uh, for us and it will also save money for the client who owns the instrument. Uh, so now we start on just removing the bell on the bottom bow uh, and we'll probably go further on and remove the uh, top branch or uh, number two bow and the number three bow on the inner side um, because they do have some damage from the fall. They look really good until you have a good close look at them and then you'll see that there are braces that have been punched in and the tubes have been distorted. So uh, now we're going to get started. We're ready to go, Paul? Yes, sir. Okay. You ready, Jeff?